Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. EA just did literally the craziest thing they could have done for footies. They dropped a 99 rated footies Ronaldo SBC. We have a lot to talk about with that because not only does that mean we have a crazy SBC to craft that is a really expensive price as well, but we also have the potential for more SBCs like this to come throughout the remainder of the preseason promo. So we're going to talk about that today, the new cards and packs and the crazy FC 24 packs that you have to be doing right now in this game. If you're not doing anything else get on and do these objectives because you will thank yourself if you're playing eafc 24 these packs are crazy so a lot to talk about today if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's go over all that we got yesterday there was actually a lot of content yesterday especially in the sbc section starting off really quickly we did have the 90 plus tots shapeshifter or footies player pick back once again some of you guys i know may be trying to pack like shapeshifters vvd he's no longer in packs anymore his gold card is in packs with the change of the preseason re-release um so this is kind of your only chance to get him really which is a little unfortunate so i don't know if ea is going to drop player sbcs for any of those types of players or if they're only doing footies cards throughout the rest of the game here but that's kind of a, an SBC that was dropped yesterday I don't think too many people are doing it now also yesterday I've already got this SBC done because it was so good we had another dynamic duo and this one's a must do guys we have a 99 rated Nkunku and a 99 rated Musa Diaby the French dynamic duo both five star five star and 99 rated both cards are absolutely cracked of course no dynamic images but for a 92 rated squad which is what you play into an 86 times 10 sbc anyway and you're doing the 16 92 rated squads for the ronaldo sbc it's a must do if you're not doing ronaldo at least do Diaby and at least do Nkunku. This Diaby card is going to be like unreal in game. I know it's the end game. I know everything's 99 right now anyway, but that's a crazy card, a W upgrade and just a W price, right? Those are players that we wanted to see Nkunku, Diaby specifically. Uh, we wanted to see transfer cards for them with their new links for their new clubs. And we get that. So I absolutely love it. 98% upvoted as it should be. So that's a must do with extra fodder. And now... We got to talk about the other big players, BC. It's Cristiano Ronaldo footies, guys. We were talking about a cover star icon. We're talking about, oh, what other players could EA drop? Nobody was imagining that EA was going to do this. 99 Ronaldo, who just left PAX and was still 9, 10 million coins. EA drop him as an SBC. They'd redeem themselves here, guys. Remember back to the beginning of footies when we first had footies come out and we saw this Ronaldo card. It was leaked. We're like, oh my goodness, Ronaldo SBC. This is going to be insane. And then EA dropped the card in packs. And we thought, oh, footies is just going to be an insane L. They've kind of redeemed themselves because they put this card actually back in SBCs. Now, is the price good? Technically, it is. Like, if you think about it from how he was on the market, way overpriced to begin with. He was 10 million coins, literally still yesterday when the SBC dropped. He's now about 5 million coins on the market, probably going to drop a bit more. But he's basically halved in price, and the SBC is coming in at about 4.5 million coins. It's really tough to try to price this SBC out because, yes, there are 42 freaking squads that you have to get done to do this SBC. And, you know, there's a lot of 93 rateds in there. There's a lot of 92 rateds. But, of course, the price of this SBC is literally, it is free, technically, because of all of the 85, 10, 84, 10, 86 times 10 grind that you can do but it's crazy to see 93 rated squads inside of this all the 92 and the 91 rated squads that are in here it's more of a do you want to spend the time the cost is free in terms of coins it's just going to take you hours to get this ronaldo done with 85 times tens and stuff like that some people have said that this ronaldo is not even as good in game as like 99 Thierry Henry, 99 Erling Holland, but still, if you're grinding this game right now, you're putting some time into it, and you want to just collect this card, 42 squads, if you put the time in, is doable, but that's kind of the conversation right now, are you going to spend a lot of time doing this SBC for a card that was extinct at 15 million coins, basically until a week ago, when it was re-released, um, in packs during preseason team number one, or are you just going to say, nah man, it is what it is, um, it's up to you, right? That's the big decision right now. It just, it's a lot, right? I know SBC here at 4.2 seems a crazy amount, but considering he was 10 mil, you know, it is Ronaldo, Saudi League links premium as well for the chemistry. 
you kind of have to make up that decision there. Fodder prices are going up, guys, because people are doing this, and maybe you need some super duper high rated to get the SBC done. If you actually take a look at the market, um, like 97 rated cards, especially the ones that have gone out of packs, uh, like Anthony Martial was in packs. I packed him multiple times during batch number one in this past couple weeks or this past week of the preseason promo. He was like, I think 40,000 coins. Now he's 50K. Of course, there are a lot of 97 rated cards that are in packs as well. So you don't have to spend coins on all of those. Like Oblak is in packs. He's 19K. Modric is back in. Musiala is dirt cheap. Busquets. You can use a lot of these really high rated cards. And during 85 times 10s, like I'm packing a lot of those really high rated. I mean, the batch you would say of cards in packs is maybe a little bit Worse, technically, because you don't have the Ronaldo and the Messi and the Neymar in there, but you do have an Mbappe, and you've got four 99-rated cards, including that Mbappe, Donnarumma, Benzema, and Lewandowski. And as you saw right there, I had a duplicate Fred and Donnarumma to craft in to another SBC. So the 85 times 10s right now, they actually they seem okay. You do get a good amount of fodder for them. Now let's see what I get right here, because earlier when we first opened them on stream, they were looking terrible. No way, Messi. Oh my gosh. The Akari troll is back. I forgot about that. But team of the season, Messi is in packs. I got a trophy Titans, Ferdinand, and a Fernando Torres. So, you know, that's decent, right? The 85 times 10s, they still give out good fodder and high rated are in packs. So you can definitely craft for an although it's just going to take a lot of time. But the real big thing that I'm going to talk about a little bit later is this Ronaldo SBC actually opens the door for what we think will bring more 99 rated footies. Look at that. 96 Grealish and 98 Allison. In that pack right there that would be a great one to go craft into ronaldo i don't think i'm gonna do him just because i don't want to spend the time on it and i'm like 42 squads for me to maybe play 10 games of them not worth it for me you're gonna spend a lot more time doing that sbc than you might actually use him in the game so that decision is completely up to you but regardless it is crazy that we got that content in september so ggs to ea now we have a moment's Arthur as well. GG's, not bad. Few games, get him done. Nice card, transfer card there. But this is the real objective content, guys. Of course, we have the new era SBC that is back. Make sure you do that. It takes five seconds to put a bronze team into the SBC, get a player pick back, get a couple packs in FC24. But the 82 times 10, it's true. I mean, last year we did have a 50k pack um, to start off F uh, FIFA 23. In the preseason of FIFA 22, I forgot about that 50k pack. That was the craziest pack that we had ever had. To me, guys, an 82 times 10 is even more crazy than the 50k pack untradeable that we had last year. This is the 100% most must-do thing right now on FIFA 23. You got to do this, guys. You can combine some of them together as well. All you need are five Netherlands or five Portugal players and then six French, Spain, or English players. You can combine one of these top three. If you have th uh, if you have six French players and you also have five Portuguese or Dutch players, you could combine those and get them done a little bit faster. I'm still working on join the club objective number one, which you can combine with this as well. Like I'm going to use seven league one, but also I have uh, six French players in that squad. So I'll get both of those done when I'm playing squad battles. I'm just going to play squad battles on semi-pro difficulty, score a goal, and let it run out. It's so easy, but guys, it is a must do because an 82 times 10, literally that early on in the game, which once again, EA is giving us these packs on October 12th, which is three weeks after the game drops when we get on the game. That is insane. I know it doesn't seem like that crazy because we're used to 85, 86 times 10, but when the game resets and when we're all using 80 rated cards again, that is insane. Trust me, guys. I mean, you guys that have played FIFA for a while know this. That is going to be an objective that you have to do because when we get these packs on that October 12th day, it's going to be madness. It's going to be so fun um, and it's going to impact the market a lot too when we see that happen. So that's one thing you got to get done right now on this game. And then we have to talk about the cards and packs a little bit too. We have a new batch of cards and they're out for 14 days, guys. This is the last batch of preseason. Once these cards go away, preseason is over. We will be into FC24 by the time that these cards go out of packs later in september and this is once again the link i'll put it down below in the description foot die gg are absolute legends for having this list available because nobody else has it not even ea themselves have posted a list of what's in packs right now trophy titans uh r9s in packs dibala lucio people are hitting finally they're able to pack him and Mbappe's barely dropped i mean he's nine mil He's dropped a little bit, but he's still so hard to pack. I think some people are still doing the 94 plus player picks right now in this game because 
they feel like they at least have a shot still at packing the Mbappe from that. And uh, it's tough to hit him. Very, 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 very tough as always. But those are the cards that are in packs. And there are a lot of high rated. So it does make the 85 times 10 grind decent so that's kind of what's going on in this game it was a crazy content day yesterday just the fact that they dropped the ronaldo is just freaking nuts like honestly it is freaking nuts how they dropped this card uh as an spc um and of course we didn't talk about this right away but it affected his price because he was 10 million coins and he went all the way down to about four mil and then he bounced back up to about five where he is now um so yeah just absolutely crazy but here's the bigger question and the bigger thing i want to pose to you guys is if you're like, nah, Nate, I'm not doing this Ronaldo. It's not for me. Well, hold on a minute. Because that's why I've been still grinding the 85 times 10s. Why you see me just still opening them. Because Ronaldo is one of the 99 rated cards that just went out of packs yesterday with team two of the re-release coming in and team one going away. Which means if they're giving Ronaldo an SBC and he's not going to come back into packs ever again because he's not a part of this re-release, which is taking us to the end of the game, Messi... And potentially Neymar could also be getting 99 rated footies player SBCs and maybe even some of the other cards like we mentioned uh, Virgil van Dijk maybe he ends up getting a player SBC EA might be taking this opportunity to say hey you weren't able to pack those guys when they were out and now we'll just give you a chance at crafting their SBCs in the end game go have fun go get the cards that you guys want to use the big time 99s but specifically for the Messi and for the Neymar, but for Messi for sure, if they're dropping a 99 Ronaldo, they're definitely going to drop a 99 Messi in an SBC, guys, right? Come on now, like whatever EA do with Ronaldo, they gave him the 99 footies first, then they gave Messi the 99 footies. It happened last year during Shapeshifters in the end game. Whatever they do to one GOAT, they do for the other as well. They know the GOAT debate is heated and they don't want to put themselves in the middle of it, so they just put both cards out as 99s and they're probably going to put Messi out as an SBC as well. So that's kind of why I'm saving a little bit of my fodder because I have been wanting to get this Messi card for forever. Not that I don't want the Ronaldo card. I just think that Messi's SBC is going to be a lot cheaper and I consider myself a little bit more of a Messi fan than Ronaldo, but Ronaldo is still a go in my opinion. This Messi SBC is going to be cheaper, guys, for one reason and one reason alone. He's already 5 mil in the market. That's what Ronaldo's price is, and he dropped 50% because he got an SBC. And he's 42 squads, right, for this Ronaldo. If Messi's getting an SBC, how much would it cost? Would it be worth doing? Um, I would have to imagine that Messi's SBC would probably be like maybe around half of the squads of Ronaldo. I would throw a guess out there that it would be similarly priced or at least somewhat similar to um, maybe like the Dino, who's 33 squads. I would even hope that a Messi would be less than that and maybe be like 28 or 29 different squads for an SBC. It's not going to be that easy to do, but we're used to doing a lot of segments for Zidane, for Dino. We've been crafting it with 85 times 10 and 84 times 10 now for weeks. If they drop a Messi uh, for an SBC that is, you know, let's say the SBC in itself is like 3 million coins because this card is like 5.2 or whatever we just looked at. Let's say the SBC is like three, two and a half to three mil, and they just do a nice half undercut of his price like they did with Ronaldo. It's very possible that he could be like 25 squads, and that would seem a lot more bearable than uh, 42 squads for Ronaldo, which is a lot of time to put into that SBC. So I would prepare a little bit for that if that interests you. Now, the problem is when would it drop? That we don't know. It could drop any time between today. EA could, it'd be really nice if EA was like, hey, we're going to have these 99 rated SBCs that we're going to be dropping. Let's drop them early so that you have time to craft them and use them a little bit until the end of the game. If EA were to wait another week for next Friday to drop a 99 Messi or a 99 Neymar and an SBC, that would kill half of the fun because you would be able to use those players and get them done uh, so much later. And then, you know, we're on the doorstep of FC24 anyway. So, my fingers are crossed that today, today we could maybe get that messy SBC or maybe tomorrow on Sunday in the next couple of days. That would seem like the best time for EA to drop it because if they're dropping a Ronaldo, they're allowing us to have fun. And if they're going to drop a Messi or Neymar, I think it should be pretty soon as well. So that's one thing that I really, really, really want to watch out for you guys today because that could be that could be really, really hype. And I think there's actually a good chance that it's happening. Now, for other 99s like Mbappe, for Benzema, for um, Lewandowski that are in packs right now, I think for the fact uh, of that that they're in, they're in packs, I think that really solidifies them as not getting SBCs. Maybe EA would drop uh, an Mbappe SBC 
uh, as well as him being in packs. That would that would be kind of crazy, um, but it could happen. So maybe we're just going to see a bunch of SBCs for the footies 99s here in the next couple of, of weeks as we end footies. I don't know how many they're going to give out and bring, but I'm here for all of them. And I just love the potential that there is with this. Now, again, I just don't see EA releasing Ronaldo and then stopping. There's got to be more coming, guys. And that's why I am very confident that something is going to happen alongside of that. Now, SBCs today on Saturday, besides a potential Messi or Neymar 99 rated, we do have a couple SBCs expiring, 93 plus player pick and a 90 plus. I would imagine that this 93 plus comes back. I'd be fine if I never see the 90 plus player pick again. This SBC shouldn't even be here. It's cluttering up the menus. Get it out of here. All right, EA, you can take that one away. That would be nice. I think there might be a couple other SBCs that are expiring today in terms of upgrades. Um, the 82 times 100 is going away today. Have we even seen the 83 times 100? Why not just drop that EA? That'd be great. So today might be a day where we get some upgrade packs and then um, maybe another 99 rated footies player SBC. That's kind of what I'm looking out for and what I'm hoping for as a part of the game today. And then of course, the rest of the menu grind at the moment is just getting on the 85 times 10 grind, getting that fodder that you need to craft the SBCs you want to do and get those games in, man. Whether you're doing it through champs, rivals, or just playing squad battles, get those games in honestly um for those objectives because i'm not gonna i can't stress this enough guys and 82 times 10 that is gonna be uh such a hype day um on october 12th mark your calendars already bro mark the calendars for the beginning of the ultimate team year but october 12th is a thursday that thursday is gonna be one of the most lit thursdays on the game when they're giving out 82 times 10s maybe we'll save them for the promo whatever happens on the 13th that friday but that's going to be a big day on this game and a very, very hype time. So make sure you get that done. You got time to do it, though. You have a couple days to do it. Same thing with the join the club one objective. You got six days. So you got a week. Um, if you're not around, maybe like have somebody a remote play on your account or something and get those done because that is 100% worth it. And there's still more packs that are going to be coming next week as well. That basically confirms that the 83.5 and the 84.3 would also be coming out next week, which again, those packs plus the 82 times 10 on this October October 12th date, it's going to be wild, man. It's going to be wild. So make sure you get those done. Uh, unfortunate thing is we don't have any store packs to refill the club. I'm turning in silvers into um, the 85 times 10 upgrade. So if you're running out on fodder, I would just say play the game a little bit, do a few objectives, and then um, just try to grind all of the like the daily gold upgrade that you get 11 players from this as well. Try to grind as many of these as you possibly can. It's just bronzes and silvers um, and kind of do that ground up grind, which is a little bit annoying at this stage, but it's worth doing. And if you need bronzes and silvers, uh, you can still do the daily bronze and silver upgrade. Those are there for you, which I should probably do a few of those. So I'm not turning in 72 rated into an 85 times 10, 88 rated squad, but it is the end game. And that's how it goes. So that's the video for today, guys. Get excited for more 99 footies SBCs because I feel like that's really going to happen here soon. And uh, yeah, hopefully the Ronaldo is the most expensive out of all of those, unless we get an Mbappe because that is just very expensive. But I got my fingers crossed for Messi. My club is ready for that fodder wise. And yeah, I'm excited to grind a little bit and get those packs for FC24 sorted as well. So I will see you guys in a video tomorrow and get ready for some more EAFC24 content. We might have some double uploads here coming up in a few days, and it's probably going to start to become a mix of one day we do a FIFA 23 stuff of whatever happens, whatever's going on. Like if we get a messy, we'll talk about that and stuff. But there's a lot of FC 24 things that I got to cover for you guys to get us ready for the game that's coming out soon. So get ready for double uploads and more videos related to that coming here very, very soon. If you enjoyed this video today, though, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the foot account, and I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow. Peace.